hey hi guys welcome to pcf so today class we are going to discuss about the primary key and foreign key okay primary key and foreign key we already discussed about the you know unique key and uh, we discussed also we already discussed about the unique key and then what not null check constraint right so today we are going to discuss about the so if you don't watch that in previous videos okay i strongly recommend to watch the previous videos guys okay today we are going to discuss about the primary key so what is the primary key so primary key is a combination of what it's a combination of unique key unique key will not allow any duplicates but it allow nulls okay but it's a combination of unique key plus not null guys okay plus not null so that is the primary key okay so that is the primary key suppose primary key why primary key suppose you have a student table okay so you are entering into the you are entering the data okay you are entering the data into student table suppose there is a student so roll number okay um, name okay name and for, uh, phone number something like that okay phone number and other uh, okay other okay pan card okay and some something like that okay so the student details are there okay this is the student table and you can feel that student table are there so to identify unique okay suppose if you identify name with a unique okay so name so same student name will be there in the class okay srinivas srinivas means okay srinivas srinivas multiple srinivas are there in the class even father name okay father name also matches sometimes okay mother name also matches sometimes okay but that we cannot find a unique way and phone number phone number is a unique okay phone number is a unique and even other is a unique and pan card is a unique okay other is a unique and pan card is a unique but so if if student will uh, not provide the valid phone number okay then what how it would be okay if he don't has a phone number then how it would be and if uh, both you know both so there are siblings okay both are joining in the same class okay they will have the same phone number if they will provide some name same phone number okay so it will not um, okay we cannot make a primary key on this number okay and we can make other and pan card but it's not a mandatory so they may have the pan card and they may have they may not have the other right so if you ask it's a mandatory then only you can join the class and they, they will they will so if you say like that they will join in some other uh, you know some other school okay so if you bring other only then only you can join means they will go in some other uh, you know some other institute and they will join there but primary key is means okay you have to create okay you have to create and you have to give to the customer okay that is the roll number so roll number will be unique for everyone guys okay it will not be unique okay it will not be sorry it will not be duplicate and it will not be not null also okay if you go to the okay if you go to the um, licensing uh, depart licensing uh, department okay if you ask a license to their uh, they will give a unique number okay they will provide that okay for their database license is a primary key guys okay if you go to the passport office okay if you go to the passport office uh, if you apply for a passport for passport department passport id is the primary key okay passport number is the primary key okay by identify by taking that number they can identify the total details okay that way we will go go and create a primary key guys okay primary key means we will provide the primary key suppose if suppose if employee table is there so we'll create a employee id okay employees are not providing their details okay we are creating employee id for them and we are giving a unique number okay that way we can create a so hope you understand so what is the primary key primary key will always be a unique okay that we will provide okay not customer will not give to create a primary key like this no so you will provide the primary key guys hope that clear so primary key will not allow duplicates and also it will be not null okay there is no not null and but primary key will not allow any duplicates okay per table okay second point guys okay second point per table 
you can have only per table you can have only one primary key one primary key guys try to understand this okay you cannot make uh, multiple primary keys but the condition is okay you can create a composite composite primary key guys composite primary key means what composite primary key what means what okay and multiple columns okay id or some um, phone number or like that you can create okay you can create on multiple columns primary key okay on multiple columns if you create a primary key that is a composite primary key guys okay so we'll discuss that in later session but you can create but you cannot create more than one primary key on in a table okay so unique key unique key will be 999 guys okay we already discussed that okay unique in will have a multiple and multiple columns and uh, we can create per table max per table 999 okay so and also when you create a primary key it automatically creates the cluster index okay when you create the primary key fourth point okay when you create primary key when you create primary key it automatically it automatically create a cluster index what is this cluster index it automatically create the cluster index cluster index okay so cluster index cluster index so what is this cluster index again so we are this is the first time we are hearing this the index okay so index topic okay in further session guys okay in the further session we will discuss about the index in detail okay so there are types of indexes are there so what is index why the index concept is came okay so what are the different types of indexes we will discuss in detail in a coming session okay so that we will discuss but for now okay so while creating a table suppose while creating a table okay how we will create a primary table primary key okay create create table okay tbl student you can say student okay tbl student okay student student table okay so anything okay the name you can write anything guys okay so in open bracket and close bracket you can write roll number okay roll number okay so integer and primary key guys okay primary key okay you can specify not null you have to specify not null guys okay after data type so you have to specify not null okay that is mandatory okay comma and then name whatever the columns you want to create you can create okay where car uh, 20 okay and then phone number okay like this you can create okay this way you can create for well creating a well creating a table case okay well creating a table you can create a primary key like this okay you can create a primary key like this okay phone number again integer okay this way we can create but so you forget to add oh, you know you forget to add the primary key okay you keep the not null roll number you you keep not null but you forget to add primary key then how you will add so after so uh, you want to alter a table right so the table name okay if you want which table you want to alter so go with there go there and then alter table okay and then table name okay again we are adding constraint right okay add constraint okay so yesterday we discussed about this syntax constraint constraint name pk pk means primary key not pound kalyan guys okay so pk and then uh, on which column you are okay so this is the you no know, standard of naming convention guys okay to maintain unique uh, key names okay you can go like this okay so this is the name name of the constraint and then what are the constraint what is the constraint primary key primary key on which column you want to specify the roll number okay so like this you can go with this okay so if you already created a table and if you forget the forget to add the primary key then so you can alter a table and then you can add a constraint okay if you want to drop constraint so if you want to remove constraint how okay again alter table alter table and table name okay instead of adding what we have to do add a const drop constraint that's it drop constraint constraint name okay drop constraint and constraint name okay so that way we can drop it okay 
So hope uh, we covered 360 degrees of primary key and then we'll see that practically guys, okay? We'll see that practically. Okay, let me open uh, visual, uh, SSMS and create a table. So the whatever the table I have uh, uh, written in the year, so that I will take same table, okay? And then execute, okay? Executed successfully and then select this table. Okay, you will have a three columns and we'll try to keep a duplicate sender. Okay, what will uh, try to insert duplicate sender <coughs> null values. Okay, whether it will take or not, we'll see. Okay, whether it will take or not, see. Okay, what is the condition? It will not allow any duplicates and not null values. Okay, we'll see whether it is allowing the not nulls or okay, duplicates. Okay, okay, let me go here and then okay. So insert, insert into table, okay, table name, okay, insert into table name, okay, and then values, okay, values, and roll number is 1, 2, 3, comma, and the name is some AAA, and phone number is some 2222, two, 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 something like that, okay. Then to okay, so we'll uh, execute it. Okay, it inserted a rows perfectly, no problem without any issues. But if I try to keep same number, okay, same uh, record again. If, so if I try to insert same record one more time, again see. So cannot insert a duplicate. Okay, an object this one duplicate key is one two three. Key is what? Primary key is a one, two, three, right? So, so this is a duplicate key. So violation of primary key, guys. Okay. Violation of primary key. So that means so we proved that it will not allow any uh, duplicates. Okay. It will not allow any duplicates. Okay. We'll try to keep a nulls. Okay. So in the next uh, next one, we'll try to keep, we'll try to insert null values. Okay, null into roll number. Okay, fail. Okay, so again, it's a primary key violation, guys. Okay, you cannot allow nulls in a primary key. Okay, that's we proved. Okay, so we created a, so you can click on Alt F1, guys. Okay, you click on Alt F1. Okay, so where is that? So the roll number, it's a not nullable. No, okay and constraints okay constraint it's, it has been created the constraint right so you can go to the database and then sample data sample data you have a table right tbl tbl student table something tbl student table is there you can go to the constraint and you can check the constraint guys okay so keys okay refresh it so primary key constraint now so roll number is a okay sir so rule number is a key, right? So it has given, it has created the key, okay, primary key, okay? So suppose <clears throat> if you forget to add, okay? So you forget to add a key, okay? So we'll uh, drop this table, okay? We'll again uh, drop, uh, okay, drop, so drop table, table name, okay? So from year to year, we'll drop it, okay? Sorry. And then execute it. Okay, it's dropped now. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll uh, forget to add a primary key. Okay, we'll try to forget a, so for, forget to add a primary key. Then how to create that primary key then? Okay, so now simply you can add a constraint, right? You are going to add a constraint. Okay, so alter table, table name. What is the table name? TBL student is the table name. Okay, so then add constraint okay we are adding constraint to the table guys okay constraint and then pk pk and then okay this primary key uh, naming convention guys okay naming convention okay like this okay and then uh, column name which column name you want to create that uh, primary key okay you can go here and then you can specify and then primary key primary key and you can specify the columns okay if you want to create a uh, composite uh, uh, primary key, you can specify the columns, okay? For now, I'm not creating any composite 
things okay if you want to specify comma and name something like that you can write okay okay you can write no problem but for table you can have only one one primary key only okay so it's executed now we'll see okay we can refresh it okay we can refresh it and we can see the uh, key name okay so whatever the key name we have specified the same key name okay you can see here guys okay okay if you forget okay and drop also okay you can drop two ways okay you can right click and you can delete it okay this way you can drop it and also if you want to drop it okay you can go and alter table okay table name okay alter table table name and drop constraint constraint name okay drop constraint constraint name drop constraint constraint name guys okay simple very simple okay you can drop okay sir press f5 okay so it's executed successfully now refresh it whether the uh, constraint is there or not okay you can go here and in, in key column so there is no keys okay so sorry key column or you can go to the constraints okay there is no constraints or keys okay that way we can do that case okay again if you want to create you can create okay press f5 and then you can see now refresh the columns okay so refresh the columns and keys okay okay now expand it okay this is the key column and if you go here key column so the key column has been created okay if you want to create delete from here okay you can delete here from here also okay so index so already as i said right there is a index has been created okay cluster index has been created okay we'll discuss the indexes what is the what and and all okay so this is about the this is about the total primary key case okay primary key will always maintain the unique okay so next topic we'll discuss a foreign key in the next video hope you like the um, this video okay if you like that guys okay so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and for more videos like uh, msb on msbi power bi and uh, sql so you can subscribe my channel guys okay thank you hope you enjoyed it